for the patience. For Devlog 6, I plan on covering the new resource collection system, the updated HUD and its visual feedback, some general quality of life and fun improvements, and the addition of some new sounds. Let's start with the resource collection. Health resources replenish your health pool. Battery resources replenish your flashlight pool, uh, in turn making the, vis the vision radius larger for your the light bulb. And ammo resources replenish your total ammo. Uh, currency is also planned, but it's not yet implemented, and it won't serve as like a replenishing resource so much as something you use that you just collect over time and you use it to purchase upgrades for your character such as uh, movement speed, clip size, weapon damage buffs, things of that nature. I've decided to streamline collectibles instead though into two things, just resource and currency. Instead of health, batteries, and ammo spawning independent of each other, instead I've decided to abstract them all as like a sort of singular resource material. And your character is equipped with this thing. I'm currently just calling it a compiler. And that, depending on what you set it to, it morphs the resource into the thing upon that collection. To make things easier to read and avoid players not realizing maybe that their compiler was set to a resource they didn't want at the time, resources will change their visuals to reflect whatever the compiler is set to at that time. I want players' successes and failures to really feel like a culmination, I can't talk, like a culmination of their choices and not just RNG. Uh, I'm hoping the compiler mechanic grants the player more agency with these choices, but also introduces kind of interesting and at times difficult split-second decisions. You know, like maybe there's like an instance where your health and your battery are low, but there's 20 aliens barreling towards you and you need to pick this thing up right now and you have to make a decision really quick. The bottom area also shows the current amount of gun slots that you have. I think you, I'm planning currently on having you start with two and it can expand to as much as five right now. And it shows which gun is equipped as well. Uh, you can use the mouse wheel to just scroll through these as well as numbers one through five are automatically hotkeyed. Um, another big change I made is that you can reload while rolling now. Initially, I would reset reloading when a roll was triggered, but I decided this was just an arbitrary limitation and that it feels way better to be able to roll and reload at the same time and hitting reloads and rolling and to avoid enemies and then finishing it at the right time and then shooting enemies feels way cooler and way stronger and I'd rather, I realized I'd rather the player have more tools and be less limited and just feel way more powerful and like the character does what they want when they want and then to just make it difficult by meeting them with crazier and crazier enemies and tasks. Lastly, concerning the new sounds, Reload complete sound, a fire failed sound, a reload failed sound, and a light ball size changed sound. This concludes the stuff I've managed to implement since the last devlog. Thanks again for everyone who stuck around and stayed following these videos. And if you're new, thanks for watching and checking this out. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Brett Shio, Dark Souls 3.
Oh yeah. Wow. That's really good. Holy shit. Good? Yeah.